Hey everybody, thanks for joining me again. I'm popping in with a quick video showing you how to put together these cute boho package toppers, which would also be really cute on a card front. These were created using our new hoop and fringe and catching snowflakes dies, along with our hoop wreath stamp set. So I have already die cut two of the large hoops from the hoop and fringe die, and I inked those up with some gathered twigs ink to almost give them a wood-like look. So now I'm taking the catching snowflakes die and I'm going to add some liquid adhesive to all of these little tabs around the outer edge of the die. These tabs get wrapped around the outer edge of the largest hoop from the hoop and fringe set. So I'm going to just lay that over the top and make sure it's centered, press that down to secure that in place and then I'll flip it over and just go ahead and fold over those tabs and adhere them to the back side. Now we're going to die cut some fringe to add to our little snowflake catcher. And we're going to be using the fringe dies from the hoop and fringe set. So this is a really intricate die and I wanted to give you a few die cutting tips. So this is the sandwich that I found worked really well for this die. I'm including the metal shim in my sandwich and I'm going to be cutting up, which means I'm placing my die blade side up with my cardstock on the top. Also, you want to position your die so that your fringes are going perpendicular to your rollers in your machine rather than parallel. You'll get much better results and you also may want to position that over on the edge of your cutting plate where there's just a bit more pressure than there is in the center of the cutting plates. And so I'll just run that through and I'm going to give that a back and forth cut. You may find that you need to give that a couple of back and forth cuts depending on your tightness of your machine and the wear and tear on your cutting plates. I'll just give that a little wriggle to loosen up those fringe and pull that out of there. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the medium sized fringe from the die. I'm also going to add a little bit of color to the largest fringe. I'm using Lucky Clover ink and just a sponge dauber to sponge some ink onto that. I think I'll also add some pine needles just because I like how nice and dark green that is just to the tip so we get kind of an ombre look. Now I'm going to attach those fringe pieces to my snowflake hoop. I'll just add some liquid adhesive along that solid top edge. Turn that over to the back side and I'm going to make sure my snowflake is standing upright. Then I'll go ahead and add the larger fringe on top of the small one. I'm going to top that off with my second large hoop just by adhering that over the top to make it look nice from both sides. Now we can go ahead and embellish it with some stamped greenery and die cuts. These are pieces that I have already stamped and die cut from our new hoop wreath set. And I have a sentiment as well. And finally, I have a length of twine that I'm going to add to the top of my tag so that I can tie that to a package. You could also add some shine with some glitter or sequins if you wanted. It's a really cute little topper and I'm excited to add them to my packages this year. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this peek into some of our new products from our Winter Wanderer collection. This project used our hoop and fringe die along with our catching snowflakes die and our hoop wreath stamp set. All of these products will be available beginning at 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Friday, November 27 from thegreetery.com.